Can you diagnose this patient? For weeks, a 75 year old man has been living with a deep aching pain in his lower back. He thought it was just age until the fatigue set in. So an otherwise asymptomatic 75 year old man presents with several weeks of progressive lower back pain and fatigue. On physical exam, he appears pale and digital rectal examination reveals a regular firm prostate. He has a PSA level of 12 and mild normocytic anemia. MRI of the spine shows multiple sclerotic lesions and a CT guided biopsy of one of the vertebral lesions reveals a malignant glandular cells with prominent nucleoli that are positive for prostate specific antigen. What accounts for the spread of this cancer to the spine? Well, the sclerotic lesions are going to tell us this prostate cancer. The PSA of 12 definitely supports prostate adenocarcinoma. The lower back pain could be caused by a bony metastasis, and he could have marrow infiltration causing the pallor and normocytic anemia. So what we need to know for this question is prostate cancer is infamous for osteoblastic or sclerotic bone metastasis. That's because the Batson venous plexus connects the deep pelvic veins directly to the vertebral venous system. There are no valves, and that allows retrograde spread. So the answer is not A is lymphatic dissemination to pelvic nodes, with systemic spread. Lymphatic spread would explain the local node involvement, but not the direct spine metastasis. B, direct extension from the prostate into the adjacent bone. Well, the spine is not adjacent to the prostate, so that would not make sense. C is looking good. D, arterial spread. So arterial metastasis, that's going to be more rare for prostate cancer. Arterial flow would more likely see distant organs like the brain or the lungs, but not the spine. In order to understand why prostate cancer spreads to the spine, you have to know how tumors travel. Some of them spread through the lymphatics or direct invasion, but prostate cancer uses the venous system, the Batson venous plexus. That connects the pelvic veins, like the prosthetic venous plexus, to the vertebral veins, and because it's valveless, it allows retrograde flow during straining or increased intra-abdominal pressure, and that's why spine metastasis is common in prostate cancer. So really you have a plexus that's allowing a shortcut from the pelvis to the spine without even having to pass through the lungs. And that sclerotic bone lesion is osteoblastic metastasis that's unique to the prostate and sometimes the breast. And the Batson's venous plexus, that's where you have the valveless veins that enable retrograde spread under pressure and the prominent nucleoli. That's a histologic feature of adenocarcinoma and the PSA positive tumor cells. That is a specific marker for prostatic origin. So prostate cancer is the most common cancer to metastasize to the spine. And when it does, it doesn't erode the bone like most cancers do. It builds it up. If you found that this was helpful, then be sure to like and subscribe.